Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an Asus VivoBook 15 laptop. This one is an VivoBook 15 model is an K513e and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can upgrade the hard drive on this one and if there's a chance for you to add a secondary hard drive and what are the stuff that you need for that. Also before we continue you have to remember once you upgrade the hard drive in here the solid stage drive or anything you need to back up your files because you will not have any operating system on the new drive. I made a video how to create Windows 10 USB boot drive. I also made a video how to install Windows 10 USB boot drive on the new computer. It's really easy. It takes 5 to 10 minutes and you can have your new Windows ready to go with a new hard drive. Those links can be on my video description in case you guys need it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to open it up, how you can replace it. All right, first thing first, you want to power off the laptop. You want to flip it upside down. And in here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. We're going to use a screwdriver. I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. And from this screwdriver set, we're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the Pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. Down here, you're going to see a whole bunch of screws. There are three types of screws, the short ones, medium, and the long ones. The short screws are the ones in the front, of end, front end of the laptop. There are four of them. The medium screws are four of them. They are side to the back corner. So these ones and these ones. And the long ones are the two in the mid of the laptop, mid towards the back. So we're going to remove all these screws and we're going to keep them in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them. Go ahead and start them from one corner and remove them. Also, if you guys like my video, if my videos are helping you guys out through your own upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous motivation for me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed all the screws, next what you need to do is to grab your opening tool and we're gonna stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest just like that. Try to find a way to stick it right in there. And uh, you wanna twist it backward. If you can't get it ready, we'll move a little to different location right there on the side here. And you can see that opening right there and we wanna move around and we're gonna wiggle around and we're gonna open it up. Do the front side of the laptop too, all the way to the back corner. So as long as you do the front and side, you're fine. You don't need to do the back end. It's not necessary because once you do the front and the side, you want to just grab from the corners. Can't get my hand in there. So you want to grab it, run your finger all along and lift it up and wiggle it around and it will release itself from the mid and the back side. All right, right away, um, we can see the empty spot for a mechanical drive. So you could have a mechanical drive right in here. So you can grab a an solid state drive, SSD 2.5 inch, place it right in here. Uh, but you do need an adapter to connect from here towards the, I don't have any adapters in here but it should look like something like this i'll try to get the link for this ones so you can put it in here so you can grab the adapter for sata so you can grab a mechanical drive or solid state drive in here 2.5 put it in here and connect this cable right under this metal bracket the metal bracket can be removed by removing two screws and three screws two black screws and one chrome screws so right there and then you can lift up this bracket and there is a connector for the uh, SATA port right there so you can grab yourself a correct adapter 
put the hard drive in here and connect the cable so you can have an extra storage up to two terabyte mechanical or four terabyte solid state drive you can place in here all right that's uh, option number one and to put the bracket back on bring it evenly down here put the two black screw right on top to do any upgrade for the RAM, for the SSD drive, anything like that, you do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. All right. And the SSD is right over here. Has a little protection right on top. To remove it, there's one screw right in the corner. You want to loosen up this screw. This is an M.2 SSD. So you want to lift it up 45 degree and you want to pull it back in the same direction. Right there. It comes with a little pouch thing in here to just transfer the heat to a thermal pad that is on the case in here. So these are NVMe drives. You can grab any other NVMe drive uh, up to four terabyte, just like this. I'll get the link for a good NVMe's. What you want to do, you want to put it in 45 degree inside the jack and push it all the way in. And make sure the screw hole matches right beside it, right there. And the last thing would be to just put the bottom screw right on top. You don't need to put any of these ones on top because it's not necessary. The thermal pad from the case is going to reach this one. To pull it out in the same 45 or 10 degree, pull it out. So this is the... You can put this one on top for now. It came with it, so I'm going to leave it on top. So push it down. In 45 degree, bring it down and put the only screw that comes with it. So this is how, uh, how you upgrade the mechanical drive, I mean, upgrade to a mechanical drive or upgrade your NVMe solid state drive right there. Once you did your upgrade, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, push the corners down, the back side, the one in the middle right here, and the front end of the laptop. And the last thing down here would be to just put the short screws in the front, the medium on the side, and the long ones on the mid towards the back. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out to understand how to upgrade. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.